What is going on, guys? Went around boxing. What a fight yesterday, last night, with Pitbull Cruz and Rolly Romero. I mean, Pitbull Cruz just came out. I mean, we already know that the guy's super aggressive. And he rocked Rolly Romero in the first round. I thought that the fight was going to be over in the first round. But you know what? It went eight rounds. And I had Pitbull Cruz winning all rounds. I, I didn't give one round to Rolly Romero. Some people had Rolly Romero were predicting that Rolly Romero was going to knock out Pitbull Cruz. I didn't really see that happening. I mean, Pitbull Cruz has a has a really good defense. People for, forget about that. The guy's aggressive. He breaks you down. And, you know, Rolly Romero has a, has a lot of holes in his, in his defense. He leaves himself open, and that's why... Uh, Pitbull Cruz was able to catch him and capitalize and get the victory. Now, the thing that disappoints me the most about that fight was that one of the judges had Rolly Romero winning that fight before Pitbull Cruz stopped him. That is crazy to me. Super fiction. I mean, I don't get it. That's what pisses me off about, about the sport of boxing. You know, we have judges like this. He had him winning. They were trying to rob Pitbull Cruz. You see what I'm saying? It's a good thing that Pitbull Cruz stopped him and got the victory. Because uh, I can't believe it. He even got a point deduction and that that judge had him up on the scorecards. It's crazy. Two judges had Pitbull Cruz winning and the other judge, I don't know what the hell he was seeing. Maybe he had too many cocktails because he was definitely wrong. I didn't give no round to Rolly Romero. Now on the side of that, the fight between Fandora and Tim Zhu, that was a bloodbath. I mean, one of the bloodiest fights I've ever seen in a long time. I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the, what the scorecard, I don't know what the, what the judges saw. Maybe it was uh, the, too much flicking that jab, you know what I mean? It wasn't landing all the time, but, you know, he was just keep, keep throwing that jab, right? Look, the only reason why Tim Zhu looked the way he did was because of the elbow that he got hit on top of his head. Did you guys see Fandora's face? Tim Zhu busted his nose, busted his face with his actual gloves, with actual punches. See what I mean? So, yes, the the blood going on top of a, you know, going on Tim Zhu's face, it was blocking his uh, his vision. And I personally think that that fight shouldn't continue. You know what I mean? But instead, he went for it. They continued and went all 12 rounds. Remember, guys, this, this headbutt, this, this elbow in the head happened very early in the fight. So it could have been stopped. You know what I mean? But I got to give my credit to Tim Zhu because he took the fight in a short notice. He said he was going for it. You know what I mean? He, he was preparing for a different fighter, also Fandora. But, but I'm telling you guys... I don't know, man. I would have loved to see a draw and run it back. Instead, what they're doing is they pretty much screw Tim Zhu here because they didn't give him the victory or the draw. And now they're, you know, promoting and trying to push a fight between Errol Spence and Fandora, which is crazy to me. You know, Errol Spence should go and, and, and get his rematch with... Uh, Terrence Crawford because he gave him the opportunity, right? He was unified champion, right? And he gave him the opportunity to Terrence Bud Crawford to just come and, you know, have one fight and collect all the belts. So definitely, I think that Tim Zhu definitely 100% deserves that rematch with Fandora, especially accepting the fight last minute. And on top of that, you know, going 12 rounds. And I don't know, man. Like I said, it was a draw to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. But it was two hell of a fights. And then Zuru Ramirez, you know, became world champion, first Mexican and cruiserweight. So, um, you know, it was a good good side for Mexico. You know, you had Oscar Valdez becoming champion. You had Isaac Cruz becoming legitimate champion at 140. Who he, who he will fight next? I would like to see him fight the winner of uh, Garcia and Haney. That would be a great fight. And then we had Suda Ramirez becoming a uh, legitimate cruiserweight uh, world champion. So, you know, uh, Mexico, Mexico came on top uh, this weekend. 
But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts below. With that being said, peace.